Today on Alley Pick, it's going to be a one day build. I'm making a one of a kind coat rack out of yardsticks, scrap wood, and any other junk I can find laying around the house. No wood, Drew, you're not the scrap wood. Anyway, let's head out to the workshop, aka Messy Garage. One of the great things about yardsticks is that they're like a time capsule. There's a stored history in them. It might be from a mom and pop shop in Wooster, Ohio. It might be from a store in the neighborhood you grew up in. Often these were just giveaways as cheap advertising for the store. The good thing is that yardsticks are always useful, so most people didn't throw them away. And they're easy to find for a buck or two. I'm designing this project from the picture in my mind, and the width is going to be about five yardsticks. I'll line them up on this press board veneer shelf I picked up from the basement of some estate sale last year for a couple bucks. I'll cut the width of the coat rack as well as the piece for the top. If you look at the edge of the board, you can see this is not solid or plywood, it's press board. Basically it's glued together wood chips and sawdust pressed together. It's junk. But since that's exactly what I do, make cool stuff out of junk, I guess this is the perfect material. It'll work, it just presents more challenges when mounting this to the wall. For the hooks, I could have used standard hooks, but I thought these wooden thread spools would make a great option. The holes on the spools were slightly smaller than my 5 16 style, so I had to drill them out. And now for something completely different. Did you hear they're not making yardsticks any longer? They're not making them shorter either. Once I went to extreme measures and bought a 32 foot ruler. But if I do say so myself, this coat rack shelf really does measure up to my alley picking standards. I think it's pretty spool. As you can see, I really do like a good yardstick joke, but rulers are where I draw the line. All right, that's enough of that. I really need to finish up this project as well as my comedy routine. Speaking of finish, I want to apply something to the wooden yardsticks to clean, protect, and treat the wood, but I don't want a polyurethane or lacquer shiny top coat. I want something as natural as possible. And for that, I'm gonna use my Slip and Shine product. It contains mineral oil and some waxes. I'll first test it on the top. If I like the way it looks, I'll put it on this side, and then I'll show you the difference. By the way, Slip and Shine will be available for purchase in the near future. I like to apply it with my hand so it melts into the wood. Let it soak in for a few minutes, the longer the better. You can wipe it off when you're done or just leave it alone. The right side is untouched, the left side Slip and Shine. I'd say there's a huge difference. Now that the shelf is finished, it's time to hang it up. I'll probably end up putting holes through the front 16 inches apart so I can mount this directly to some studs. Some other options might be a keyhole bit for my router or these oval metal plates that I can mount directly to the back. But since this is press board plywood, which is basically sawdust glued together, those are not the best options. Had I made the back out of solid wood, then it would be a different story. So there you have it, a nice little project that you can really get creative with. I'm Tom, this is Allie Picked, and thanks for watching.